Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another wax party break coming at you. We're a little over halfway there on that promo. So check out the uh, check out all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com on the wax party promo, how you can try to try to win spots. And um, you can check the break schedule if you click one tab over. There'll be uh, a tab with three of these party guy faces right there and you can see the whole list of, uh, of winners and how much more we gotta go. Each uh, wax party break giving away two spots. All right, and we finally knocked out that 15-box windmill basketball mixer. 30 spots. Everyone gets a random team in the NBA. All cards ship. Pretty nice a group of boxes here. A lot of different years, some old stuff, and some new stuff as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats again to the winners of those spots and those fillers we did. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Randomized names and teams. Six and a two, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Richard all the way down to Nicholas. Six and a two, eight times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got the Clippers all the way down to the Trailblazers. All right, Richard with the Clippers, Aaron with the Magic, John with the Sixers, Jonathan with the Cavs, Nicholas with the Suns, Brian with the Wizards, Stephen with the Raptors and the Nets, Robert with the Heat, Corey with the Pistons, Mike with the Nuggets, Tabal with the Kings, Ron with the Lakers, Stephen with the Spurs, Nico with the Warriors, Nicholas with the Hornets, Tim with the Rockets, Nathan with the Jazz, Chanth with the Bulls, Cam with the Pels, Nico with the Thunder, Jesse with the Grizz, Steve with the Knicks, Scott with the Bucks, Chris with the T-Wolves, Nick with the Pacers, Josh with the Mavs, Jesse with the Hawks, Joe with the Celtics, and Nicholas with the Portland Trail Blazers. Blazing them trails. Let's sort by team alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we will have the break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done here in this break. So that list remains the same on Tuesday the 18th. Thanks, everyone, for getting in, for making this happen. Appreciate it. All right, let's just start grabbing some boxes and let's, let's roll. I'm just going to go in no particular order. Here's 1920. Status basketball. We did have some basketball on in the background. We were watching uh, the Pistons Warriors game, but the Warriors were cruising, so went to the switched over to the Kings game, the Hockey Kings, Tampa Bay Lightning, and the. Uh, the Los Angeles Kings tied at three going into the third period. Trey Young, we got some LeBron James here. Terrence Mann, rookie. And we got Sekou Demboya to 125. It's for Detroit, that'll be for Corey. Uh, 
Cam Reddish rookie card. It's for the Knicks now. New beginnings, Zion Williamson. Pelicans, that'll be for Cameron. All right, so nothing too crazy there. Got the Zion insert, though. All right, some 2020-2021 Flux. You know, we're kind of, Oliver, we're kind of think, talking about that uh, in between breaks not too long ago where, where what if, like, Fanatics should be able to do, like, uh, some sort of set for Coachella? And, like, if you collect X number of cards throughout the weekend, you can turn them in for a Kanye Auto or something like that. Or you can show that you built the set for the Kanye Auto. And we've got a autograph, ultraviolet auto, Robert Williams III, Joseph and the Celtics. Right? I don't know why they, I, you know, with, with trading cards, I guess for the general public, I guess trading cards being such, such a, you know, a lot more people are aware of it now over the last few years. Coachella, the Coachella trading card set. Collect all the artists, all the bands. It's Kevin Garnett to 99. You know, if you, and if you collect X amount of sets or something like that, or X amount of cards, you can show it to someone and they'll be like, hey, here's your, thanks for collecting all the packs. Jaspi should do a card festival called a Joe Cella. I mean, Jaspi Cella would make more sense. And the encased card is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Nice. 24 out of 25 for the Bucks. Scott. Nice. All right, let's go back in time to some old brilliance. 2012-13 brilliance basketball. I feel like a lot of, I feel like everybody and their cousin are doing some sort of card show or card festival or something like that. You want to see an SNL De Bear set? I mean, how many cards would that be? I don't know how many times they did th did those sketches. Oh, you're saying include some of the key players in a heritage set. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done that before. I don't know. Running a card festival is not as not as fun as you think it is. It's not like you're just calling up some people and saying, "Hey, you wanna you wanna come and sell some cards and do do this or that." And... 
No, I mean you have to you have to rent out a venue. You have to pay insurance for that venue, security for that, put down tens of thousands of dollars of deposits, and blah blah blah. blah. No, it's, it's sort of a nightmare. So much liability involved there. I know they did a lot of those. Did they do a lot of those sketches? But how many different... There's only like, what, two or three different characters? Bradley Beal. Autograph. Nice. Brilliant beginnings, Bradley Beal auto. Brian with the Wizards. Well, of course, we'll do an auto recap at the end of this, too. Lillard a rookie in this set? Maybe. That'll go to Portland. Lillard is a rookie card. Okay, that's what I thought. Orlando Johnson, brilliant beginnings autograph for Indiana. That'll be for Nicholas. And the Pacers. And a Hito Turkoglu relic for Orlando. That'll be for Aaron. Yeah, that's right. For this for this old stuff, the NOLA goes to NOLA. New Orleans stuff goes to New Orleans and um, and Charlotte stuff goes to Charlotte, even though their team nicknames are different. Oh, I our shipping team will catch that. The Bradley Beal rookie card, that'll all card ship anyway, so everything will go.
All right, next. There's uh, James Harden to 249. And then Isaiah Stewart. Cornerstones, rookie cornerstones. Quad relic and autograph. Corey with the Pistons. And we've got a LaMelo Ball rookie card for Charlotte. It's going to go to Nicholas. Kyle Lowry, 149. These Prism cards and Chronicles, I think, act as update cards. So this goes to Nicholas and the Suns. Looked like there was... Looks like there was a little manufacturing error right there. Or a, it's like something kind of stamped right there, unfortunately. He's Cole Anthony's because I feel like he's been he's been playing a lot better in his second year thus far. Sadiq Bay to ninety nine. Devin Booker to one forty nine. So Tyrese Halliburton as well for the Kings. And Paul Reed, and that Phoenix design is your auto for the Sixers. John with the Sixers. 92 out of 99. And Cole Anthony, hometown heroes, purple, 30 out of 49. Orlando, Aaron. Couple Obi Toppin rookie cards as well going to New York, Stephen Flat. All right, some chronicles in this uh, McDonald's apple pie box. I think this is a T Mall box or something like that, or Lucky Envelope, as they call it. So what if an apple pie popped out of here? No, not a, not a McDonald's apple pie. A delicious, delicious McDonald's apple pie. Got here. Any luck in here? We got a rookie Tyler Hero. Nice. That's six out of eight. Miami, Robert Ronkel. See the number right there. And we've got a Kyrie Irving. Four out of eight. For the Nets, Stephen Flat. All right, what about some Prism? Looks like Prism Retail, I believe. Find 
some nice Zions or John Morant in here. Is Zion gonna play this season, folks? Anyone know the anyone have the latest on Zion Williamson? I feel like we need him to uh we need him to come back here. Come back soon. Anyone have any news on Zion? Really? Do he think he's trying to go reunite with Cam Reddish and R.J. Barrett in New York? That'd be interesting. I don't know if New Orleans fans would be super happy with that. Who's suggesting that? box do the Knicks even have the pieces to make that to make that work Eric Pascal red wave Steph Curry, NBA Finals, green. And there's a Zion, base card. Rookie. For Cameron and the Pelicans. And we got a Mufondu Kevin Gelly. Rookie penmanship for the Clippers. Richard with the clip show. Bam out of bio back there. Oh, just some stuff on Twitter. You think New Orleans fans knows he's not going to be around very much longer? Oh, well, he hasn't. How long has he been? He hasn't been there for very long. This is like his second or third year. Is Mufondu an uh, FSU guy? What's he up to today? Is he, is he getting a minute somewhere? Clippers, maybe? So this is Mosaic uh, Fast Break, I believe. And that'd be wild if Zion Williamson leaves, leaves New Orleans this, this soon. I mean, I feel like whoever's in the front office, I forget who the GM is, but... I think a name that some of us are, most of us are familiar with. 
But I feel like the GM just drafted him. I don't think the GM would be would be uh, would be too encouraged to uh, to leave that guy anytime soon. Oh, he lived in your apartment complex at FSU. He got dropped and signed by the Kings and dropped again. He's on a G League team somewhere. All right. Well, we're hoping for the best for him. Is Mafondu the next Greg Oden, Joe P. saying? Joe P. not too high on Mafondu. Oh, Zion? Well, that's a little harsh, isn't it? Let's look at Greg Oden's stats. Greg Oden played 105 games in his career. You don't think he you don't think Zion's going to get 105 games? Zion's already had 85 games. I mean, yeah, I guess he would be like a Greg Oden type if uh <laughs> But I don't. But you know, Zion got a got a all rookie team, got an all star. I don't think Greg Oden became an all star. That was a little bit of a harsh comparison. You preach Shaw as a top dog in that draft. Yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with you. There's LaMelo Ball, NBA debut. And that's for Nicholas and Charlotte. And there's Mark Jackson. God bless Jay. Joe Jaspi. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark Jackson. This goes to the Pacers. That'll be for Nicholas. Is I on the basketball version of Jamarcus Russell? No, see, the thing is, when Zion plays, he's actually good. You know, like, Jamarcus Russell was never good. I mean, Zion it must be kind of deja vu for Pelicans fans, but Zion's probably closer to, like, Anthony Davis. You know what I mean? It's just, he's good when he plays, but, but, uh, he's good when he plays, but how often is he going to play? Oh, what is this? Why is this Anthony Edwards turned around? Oh, it's a variation. Nice. Nice. The V for variation. Nice one for Minnesota. Christopher Freeze. Chris won that spot in a filler. Got randomized. The uh, the T Wolves and gets these Anthony Edwardses.
Ooh, and some gold. Gold Cole Anthony, NBA debut. Five out of ten. Nice. Orlando, Aaron. All right, some Excalibur maybe, 15-16 Excalibur. So is everyone saying Zion thin photos are photoshopped and Zion fat photos are photoshopped? Will the real Zion please stand up? He, has, he hasn't been on national television or anything? Is he not at Pelicans games? Like on the bench? I mean, that should clear things up really quick, no? This is a blaster box, right? Excalibur blaster. And we got a Josh Richardson. Night school. Wow, Jason Jaspi, mic drop. Zion, fat or skinny? Better than any players on the Suns. Woo! Woo! Shots. Shots, 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 shots. Wow, Dean Mark also saying that 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 uh, Zion doing the whole Ben Simmons thing. He's looking to to make his way out of uh would the pelicans ever do that though is Zion willing to just sit maybe doku is saying he's always at concession stands that's why you never see him on the bench during games he's stress eating well didn't uh didn't uh, James Harden kind of did that, right? Didn't he kind of show up to camp sort of overweight and sluggish and then made his way out of out of Houston and then all of a sudden he he looks he looks great now on the Nets. Ooh, and a Patrick Williams signature series autograph. Nice. That'll be for Chantha Boon and the Bulls. There you go, Chant. Yeah, Big Dog saying Harden was like 20 plus overweight. In and Anthony Edwards, nice. Christopher with the T Wolves gets that red pulsar. I know that's a shame, too. The Patrick Williams stock, Sean, you're right, because he was kind of a, a rookie that people really liked. Let's go back in time to 2016. This is, I think, the first year of Optic, which makes these boxes super expensive. Optic retail. But yeah, I want love to let love to see Patrick Williams 100%.
<laughs> yes, Dean. I think you mentioned that three times now that Zion's doing the Ben Simmons thing. We heard you. So you're saying but he wants out. Foot needs a lot of time to heal. So this season's chalked. Then for next season, he's going to lose a lot of weight. By that time, con I guess that rookie deal might be close to being done. That's kind of wild. Yeah, maybe a buy a low on Patrick Williams. Yeah, I think it's probably worth buying low on Zion too right now. Chatty Kathy trash talker Jay tonight. Joe P acts like he never talks trash. Not Joe though. Joe P doesn't talk trash though. There's Kay Felder, 49 out of 49. Kawhi Leonard, Court Kings. Jalen Brown for the Celtics, Joseph. And we've got, we've got this guy. Vendalgas Kuzminkas. Kuzminskas. Knicks. Not sure what he's up to these days, but this will go to Seton Flat in New York. Here, Malik Beasley. And we're not not seeing any of the big names here in the 15, 16 class. AJ Hammonds, Patrick McCaw. All right, so nothing too crazy here in this old school box. Onwards. Some Crown Royale. You guys should, uh, Jason. You, you and uh, you and uh, Joe P should do a little wager. Who, who wins a, a championship first, Suns or Eagles? Heirs to the throne, Lamello relic. Joe P versus Jason Jaspi boxing match. Jason would destroy Joe P. Joe P. Joe P. is strong, but he's he he's concedes a lot of a uh, lot of height to Jason. <laughs> Joe P would get smoked in a boxing match. There's Rick Smith's die cut, 41 out of 99. Uh, the Charlotte Relic goes to Nicholas, and the Pacers autograph goes to Nicholas. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we know Joe P. We know Joe P. Oh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Woo -hoo 
There's Anthony Davis, James Harden, Pascal Siakam to 75, Pascal Siakam again, Nikola Jokic, Spectacular, and Cassius Winston. This Spectra is uh, Asia edition, by the way, so those autos aren't guaranteed. I don't know. This could this, we could do this for charity, you guys. We can we can do this for charity. Jason Jaspi versus Joe P. Live stream it. Devin Booker. And Zion Williamson. We got Kemba. 98 out of 99. And a plate? Look at that. Blake Griffin. One of one. A little, little bend in that plate there, but... That's a Blake Griffin one of one. Brooklyn Nets, Stephen Flat, Stephen. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And behind Draymond is Zeke Naji. Rookie autograph for Denver. That'll be for Mike Tower. Mike on the board. All right, the last two boxes is going to be Origins. 2019-2020 Origins, and then we'll close out with 2020-2021 Origins. Kyrie to 99. Boston, Joseph. Celtics edition. There's Jordan Poole. Nice. He's been playing some great basketball. Rookie card for Nico and the Warriors. Aaron Gordon, Tremont Waters. And behind Chris Paul is... Cameron Johnson for the Suns. Call today for free information. Call 800-867-0280. Attention homeowners. Are you young on your mortgage payments? Is the bank threatening to take your home? And behind Houston, Chris Paul is DeAndre Hunter. Two-color jersey and autograph. Without Cam Reddish, maybe, maybe we see more DeAndre Hunter. Maybe his stock goes up. Atlanta, Jesse with the Hawks. Won that team in a uh, in the filler with a filler spot. All right. Final box. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Closing out with 2020-2021 Panini Origins Basketball. And then we'll do the randomizer for the uh, Wax Party spots. And then we will do a quick little recap. Ooh. It's an autograph down there. There's Kyrie Nets edition this time. Chris Middleton, Josh Green, Jamal Murray to 75 for Denver. Kira Lewis Jr., jersey and autograph, 11 out of 49 for Nollins. Cameron with the Pelicans, gets all the New Orleans cards. And 
And it's Jordan and Wara is your rookie autograph for the Milwaukee Bucks. Scott Goodman with Jordan and Wara. All right, thanks, gang, for making this windmill mixer happen. Appreciate it. Let's uh, give away those wax party spots, and we'll come back and we'll do a recap. So let's flip back to the list. And let's gather everybody's names. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a four, seven times. Top two after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, right? Yep, seventh and final time. Good luck. After seven. Top two. For three on down, sad times. But thanks for giving it a shot, though. Appreciate it. Happy times for Jesse. You're in. I thought you were on the outside looking in. But no, you got a spot. And Tim. So both people who won filler spots ended up with a wax party spot. You're going to win some wax. You can check out the box list on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. And solid break, too. That's the, the Blake Griffin plate, LaMelo Relic, Anthony Edwards, Red Pulsar, Patrick Williams Auto, Cole Anthony, that's gold out of 10. More Anthony Edwards, that was a variation. Mark Jackson, LaMelo, some Zion, these, both of these are out of 8. Isaiah Stewart, more LaMelo, some old school guys, Damian Lillard rookie card, Bradley Beal rookie auto, Giannis from Flux to 25. And a Robert Williams in flux as well. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.